there has been a temporary ban of women um, relating to a Starbucks in Saudi Arabia and it has denied women the access of its services at least since this past Monday uh, and it's again scheduled to be temporary I'm already repeating myself not even 30 seconds into this the controversy controversy <laughs> first erupted when this uh, individual on Twitter posted images of the sign that was indicating that women weren't allowed anymore along with identifying herself as a, a woman as a female and they made the case that they were denied solely because of their gender and that they were basically told to send a man in their place to order their coffee or their drink or whatever whatever they were getting from uh, Starbucks which sells more than just coffee I don't personally go there that much so you know, I, I know a few things. I have some level of knowledge about the concept. Um, it's ridiculous. It's really disgusting, too, because from what I can tell, women make up well over half of the world. And in that being the case, I don't see how you... They're, they're doing themselves a disservice more than the women the women because there are other coffee places I'm sure over there are other ways of making coffee they might not taste as good or be as high priced but there are um, and it's just it seems like uh, such a dumb thing to do from the tactical the tactical standpoint of business okay I want to make money off of the coffee that I'm putting out hmm what way do I make money off of the coffee that I'm putting out I know, let's ban all of the women that could potentially buy the coffee who will buy the coffee because they were trying to get there and that's when they noticed that sign. Let's stop them from being able to get it and put up a bogus sign about them not being able to get it because they are women. What a bright idea. Except it isn't. And I'm just, you know, looking at that sign right now. It has the... Um, you know, text, um, the foreign text along with English type next to it. On It's on this green piece of paper that they, they just had in the, um, I guess, the window. And I'm blown away because I really didn't want to believe this story without some type of proof. Again, I, you know, CNN, for the most part, is uh, credible when it comes to reporting things as they are or as they appear. So I just, I trusted them and... <laughs> They didn't let me down today, but I'm let down by Saudi Arabia and its continued poor treating of women. That's uh, just reprehensible. And I think their, their Starbucks over there, whichever ones, I'm not sure if it's all of them that are doing that, um, are just creating an entire controversy that really didn't need to exist. You know, I've never heard of any restaurant, this is new, I've never heard of any restaurant imposing a ban or any establishment imposing a ban on a single gender. Anywhere you can buy food or something else that is generally unisex, you don't have to have a male genitalia to eat french fries, you don't have to have a female genitalia to drink coffee. And I, I guess I could should reverse those, but the point I'm making is food is not something, or things that can be consumed are not uh, things that are exclusive to one gender. And I think they're sending, trying to send that message, but they're not doing a good job of it because it's so stupid that it can't be done. It's impossible. You can't make the case for blocking out an entire gender and expecting to still make profit. So I hope the guys over there who you know, have some common sense, either stop buying as much, don't buy at all, make their own coffee, do something, boycott, and when they do lift this ban, which they say is temporary, I hope every time, and excuse me, I have a, I had a little visit to the hospital today, I hope every single time that someone, some woman, just in the near future and beyond over there, thinks about buying coffee from a Starbucks. They remember this. This article gets shared with them. 
and they see a decrease in sales. I'm not saying bands just you know be against Starbucks, Starbucks, Starbucks everywhere, but Saudi Arabia, yes. So take care.